Every college and university in the state is planning on returning to in-person learning this fall. The leaders of those institutions argue with necessary personal protective equipment and ramped up testing, students can be safer on campus than off. There is a little bit more of a bubble around a uh, college campus. It's permeable, uh, they're, they're, it's leaky, uh, but there's a little bit more control. It won't be like any other semester for students at Nebraska's three state colleges. There will be a mask requirement and attendance will be taken at every class, but students won't be penalized for missing class. We want them, if they're not feeling well, if they have symptoms, that they're uh, feeling that they have every capacity to be able to stay um, isolated and then come back when they're ready. The chance remains that the schools could go remote. While it'll be a case-by-case -case basis for both the state colleges and private schools, students will likely stay on campus if that happens. That may not be asking students to leave campus because it's the probably the best place to, to maintain them until they can be isolated and, and work through a quarantine process. The schools are opening up at a time when the federal and state government are seemingly at odds over how Nebraska is containing the virus. Last week, the White House Coronavirus Task Force added Nebraska to its list of hotspots known as the Red Zone. Ricketts said Monday, the White House data is wrong, saying the data counted individual people every time they took a test as opposed to simply counting each person once. He says that led to a positivity rate that did not match state stats. So there may be multiple rounds of testing where you still test positive before you get that test negative and go back. Well, that's only one person. So we don't count that multiple test positive on one person as part of the numbers we report. John Kepper, 3 News Now.